Friday, allowing tourists to flow back into vacation spots. And yesterday, restaurants got the green light to open their doors with some limitations. Tonight, diners had the chance to celebrate Cinco de Mayo at their favorite Mexican eatery. News 13's Courtney Mims tells us how some businesses combine the holiday with the current distancing guidelines. Local Mexican restaurants didn't have too much time to get ready for their biggest day of the year, Cinco de Mayo. They opened up on Monday and were rolling on Tuesday. We kind of, you know, all met together and was like, all right, we got to get back to the basics and let's see what we can to get this restaurant open to get this party started. Los Antojitos still doing curbside to go, but added more tables under a tent in the parking lot for customers who wanted to dine in. They also had not one, but two bands playing live music at the restaurant, all to celebrate the big day. It's whatever people feel safe at, whatever they feel safe. And we're here to whatever they want. If they want to go, we will do to go. If they want to sit down, they can sit down. Pepper's Mexican Grill and Cantina was also hopping on Tuesday, except they weren't having a celebration inside the restaurant, but instead bringing the Cinco de Mayo festivities to people's homes with plenty of to-go orders. It's lamb, but it's just to-go orders coming through. We, we have our 25% capacity full, but the to-go orders are nonstop. Never expected. We've never done this before. We've never had this many to-go orders. Peppers didn't really get to celebrate the holiday last year as they were still operating from a food truck after Hurricane Michael. So just being back in the restaurant is a good feeling for the staff. We're just um, grateful to be in the building again and to have all of our, our employees here, you know, our whole staff joining us. So, Reporting in Panama City, Courtney Mims, News 13, Panhandle Strong. As phase one of Florida's